Hello guys, welcome to my uh, part 2 video of my Koi Pond build. Um, the total length is going to be um, 240 centimetres by um, 170 in width. Um, the, that's the external dimensions. The internal dimensions will be 1.5 metres wide by uh, 2.3 metres long. Um, that's 230 centimetres long by 150 centimetres wide. Uh, just to clear that up. Um, I've took some of these flags out, as you can see, and I've dug down uh, by one feet because I think it's important that you do have some of your pond in the ground um, to give the fish some protection during the winter. Um, I've got a small pond over there, as I've said in part one, um, where it, it hardly ever throws over, but that's because it's in the ground. Um, so if you ever do a pond um, and you do want to do a raised pond, like a koi pond, it's always advisable to have some of it in the ground. So a lot of rubble that I found here, and it's always advisable that when you ever do some digging, because um, the ideal thing with these raised ponds, these uh, sleep ponds, is if you move, you can disassemble it and take it with you. So if you've dug a big hole, um, it's a good idea if you um, put that in bags or find a place in your garden you can put it so at some point if you decide to move you can fill it back in I've got my flags behind me here um, and we can always lay, relay the flags if we decide to move house so I just wanted to give you a bit of an update where we're at so what I've done um, obviously I've laid the frame down um, the central part here was quite level which I was surprised about but the corners, corners were not, was not level and there was big gaping gaps. So then I thought, right, I'll mix um, a dry mix of cement and I'll shove it under the corners to give it stability. And when that goes off, because I, I have got, gone around with a sponge and sponged it and wet, wetted it. Um, so when that goes off, it should give a lot of stability and it is level which is great so all we need to do now is wait for that to go off and we can start laying our sleepers um, once we start laying our sleepers this pond will come together very quickly um, the hard part is the groundwork of any pond you decide to do whether it be an aquascape pond uh, in-ground pond a raised pond or whatever it is um, and you do bottom drains and that sort of thing um, the hardest part of doing a pond is the groundwork I'm not going to do a bottom drain in this because, to be frank, it's a lot of work and I can't really be bothered with it. So I'll just have a, a pump in here um, to deal with the fish, fish waste. And we've also got our um, filter that I showed you in part one. If you want to have a look at the filter box that I've made, go to part one and I'll, sh I'll show you what it looks like. Anyway, so we put our cement in, we wait for that to go off. Once that's go gone off, um, I'm going to have to look at doing something with the, what I've dug out here, which is one feet deep um, because there was a lot of glass and rubble in here and before we want to put a liner in and our underlay underneath that uh, we want to get some sand in here, maybe some soil as well, some soft soil um, just to make sure that there's no sharp edges. I'll go around and I'll see if I can find any bits of glass and stones um, but there was some rubble in here so that was a, pe a pain in the butt. Uh, it's always recommended guys if you do a sleeper pond or something that's a raised pond and you do do a bit of digging see if you can find a place in your garden for what you dig out because the, the ideal thing about sleeper uh, ponds is you can disassemble it quite easily um, and take it with you you know and then all you have to do here is fill this gap in I've got the flags here in a nice pile and we can just pop the flags back back in and you know no one would have known there was a pond here um, so essentially this is part two um, we're just gonna wait for the cement to go off um, the thing with sleeper ponds is once you've got your groundwork done and your first level done putting your, your sleepers on and going up your levels is so quick, so easy. It'd be done in less than an hour. Um, but 
it's the groundwork that takes your time. Take your time with your groundwork, guys. If you're ever doing a sleeper pond, take your time. Um, so I hope this was helpful for you guys. This is the second part, as I said. I'll bring you more parts as I go on. Um, but this will start to dramatically come together very soon. I um, hope this video was informative. And I'll see you in part three. Bye-bye.